Welcome to the World Summit on the Information Society 2016 in Geneva, Switzerland. And I'm delighted to be joined by Ahmed Bidibadi, founder of the data processing company of Iran. I understand you pioneered internet connectivity in Iran and that you're now very heavily involved in broadband connectivity. Yes, exactly. It's one of the main issues right now in every country is to expand the broadband. So we are involved to building the infrastructure and bringing you know, broadband to all city, also through the rural area, because this is actually a very important issue in order you can bring e-services on the top of that. And about a year and a half uh, ago, we brought the 3G and 4G operator coming and uh, the growth has been good. So we have about 15 and a half million using mobile broadband and almost eight and a half million fixed broadband. So this number is going to be double in next two years. So you can see the growth will be very high. And right now the government also has the policy subcontracting private companies such as us and other company uh, to lay down the optical fiber. Actually our company is involved uh, you know, laying down the optical fiber, which is needed for the broadband. So it's a mass explosion of broadband, but of course Iran is a massive country, so there must be challenges in getting connectivity to some of the more rural areas. Uh, yes, as you mentioned, one of the challenges was, you know, the sanction. As uh, the sanction has been lifted out, uh, so life becomes a little bit easier. Many uh, European companies are coming, so that makes expansion of the broadband much faster and cheaper because before you have to do, tr do it through a third party so it makes it expensive and you need more budget so this was one of the challenges the second challenge is you know is a digital literacy which we are in country of course since we have over 50 percent of our population are young they're picking up very fast but the still by educating people they use in proper way the broadband, especially social networking. You can't believe in Iran, the social networking is growing very fast and everybody using. I don't know if you have, uh, they are using a Telegram. Telegram is a Russian social networking. 80% of their user is in, in Iran. So you, many people use, even in rural area, to exchange ideas together, to share um, these things. Even. Because of the broadband is expanding, like, uh, other e-services, e-education, e-learning. Lots of e-learning platform is coming up. Even ourselves, we have uh, developed a platform called Rybot for e-learning that uh, all people can, within the country, access remotely and you know, take a university course and other courses required. And that's the advantage in Iran because you've got such a highly educated population and young people that you have potentially got all of these ICT engineers and experts who are homegrown. Exactly. This is one of our advantages as far as the human resources is very good. Uh, we had about four and a half million uh, you know, graduate student every year, you know. So all universities in different cities within the Iran and in the IT also in the ICT, we have a very good number of graduate students. So that help us to grow faster and uh, do things in a better way. A startup is growing. As the broadband is growing uh, uh, from the last two years, startup are growing, new idea is growing. Young people understand that they can make uh, good things with good idea even they can make good money uh, if they are after the money so is wondering that from the last two years many startup has grown and even foreign company have came recently they're investing and they're getting their share and they're paying a good amount of money to them because they have uh, done great job so this is one of the advantage we have in our country because they found iranian has a good talent uh, you know, uh, so they're using these human resources which you need for developing different e-services and application and mobile app. You know, you can believe lots of mobile app is developing in Iran. Even it's been used outside of Iran, but is they're developing, you know, because of the uh, human resources we have available in the country. So here at WISIS, you can obviously exchange a lot of good practice from Iran. What have you actually learned from other countries here about their success stories? Yes, uh, this is my six years actually coming to the WISIS. 
And during these uh, six years, I have learned a lot of experiences, uh, sharing idea, actually sharing our success story, at the same time sharing other success stories that we have used. And we try to even partner together to implement some of the idea they already implemented and they have been success, full story about it, and we did. For example, yesterday we have some idea with some African people about e-agriculture. They have some solution which have been implemented and we are going to really partner together and to have a startup in our country to implement it in e-agriculture, which is one of the things is really needed, especially for rural area farmer. E-commerce is growing, uh, you know, people are now because of the broadband and mobile penetration using, you know, online to buy, you know, the goods. So before the last two years, this facility was not available, but as broadband is growing, this e-services is coming. Ahmed Bidibadi, founder of the data processing company of Iran, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for giving this opportunity to me. And please do join us on the ITU YouTube channel where you can see many interviews with the experts here at the WISIS Forum 2016.